Our president is very appreciative of the efforts that have been made. Yeah. We very much hope in the development of our relationship. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm sure you will. Thank you. See you probably the rest of the I hope so. I went in to check CNN and they had some talk show on, so I they had a talk show on it, so I didn't get it. Ambassador, Ambassador, welcome. Thank you very much to see you. Good to see you. Have you back here. 
It's for someone who uh, played the Gipper and was uh, a sports announcer, Beth, broadcasting some Notre Dame football games I can't quite get used to. <laughs> the fact that now at Notre Dame, uh, they won't win one for the Gipper, they'll win one for the girl in the grandstand. <laughs> Say, tell me, though, I have a serious question. 
because in that earlier day, uh, Notre Dame and St. Mary's were you know, close together and uh, one all male and one uh, ladies. And, and uh, what has opening Notre Dame up, what is this, is, is St. Mary's still? St. Mary's is still there. They are the You and I are going to talk about several I understand they still show that football picture incoming freshman at Notre Dame. Well, I did. As you said you would consider whatever proposal Congress might make, yet your aides seem to be slamming the door on new taxes. Is this a public relations stunt, or are you sincerely prepared to consider new taxes? I was asked a direct question about whether we would go up there on the hill and uh, see how we could work something out and with regard to that. And of course I said I would listen. We would listen to their proposal. They have never listened to ours. I submitted a budget almost a year ago, and they've never paid any attention to it. Would you be willing to take higher taxes, Mr. President, if it meant uh, pulling out of the deficit and uh, easing just, uh, the spears in the country? Let me, let me just put it this way. I have not changed my mind about the impact of increased taxes, which does not result in increased revenues. Historically, tax increases result in reduced revenues, and reduced tax rates result in increased revenues. 
continue. And uh, that's a point that I would make in any discussion. Well, well what's, the point of, what's the point of having That means you would not accept it. Yes. Alan, we're, we're agreeing to go and meet them, and what I am saying is, obviously, we expect to listen to each other's proposals. Well, all we're trying to do is find out what you are ready to, or willing to compromise. I don't think you can answer in advance, other than I've said I am willing to hear their position. Several economists say they think a recession is on, is on the, in the offing, if not a severe economic slowdown as a result of what's happened. Well, I think some people have wisely pointed out that if this thing of the market uh, should go on, uh, the people themselves can create a recession by saying, well, let's put off buying something they were going to buy, let's put off spending and so forth. Uh, that can bring one on. As a matter of fact, uh, the media can help bring one on if they keep on talking pessimistically and encouraging that kind of consumer talk. But uh, if the market continues today as it did yesterday, I think it's a revelation that what we were seeing was uh, some kind of a correction that uh, is now not going to go on. This way, please. We'll see you tomorrow night. Have you got any word yet on Mrs. Reagan coming home? <laughs> Uh, the, uh, I answer all those questions. We'll